In this video, I'm going to teach you one of the best bodyweight isolation exercises for the biceps, the Pelican Curl Eccentric. <sighs> in terms of how to do this exercise properly, I want you to start in the bottom position of a push-up with the elbows pinned close to the body. From here, create full body tension by squeezing the glutes and the abs. Once your body is set in a good position, I want you to lean forward towards the ground, controlling the entire range of motion until the elbows are extended straight. When your arms are straight, squeeze the triceps to make sure a full range of motion has been used. By doing this, you can guarantee the biceps have been maximally lengthened. From here, dust yourself off, it's not pretty, it's not graceful. Get back to the start position and repeat for reps. In terms of shoulder alignment, you got two different options here. Choose the one that's most comfortable for you. The first one, which I recommend, is just keeping the elbows pinned close to the body with neutral rotation, not externally or internally rotated. The other option that you can use is still keeping the elbows pinned close to the body, but trying to focus on maximally externally rotating the shoulders. The only problem I have with the external rotation option is if you're anything like me, you're going to have a major difference side to side. If you see in this video clip, you can see how much more external rotation my right side has compared to my left. This is something that I definitely need to work on. Now let's take a look at how the back and shoulder blades should be positioned. When it comes to the upper back, keep it extended. Don't hunch your thoracic spine at all. Don't make the mistake of looking directly down at the ground as this will encourage you to hunch. Instead, look slightly forward and think of elevating the chest. Scapular position should be forcefully retracted. This creates a nice stable base. If the shoulders are set in a good position, force transfer to the arms will be greater. Why this is important is because if the biceps can contract harder as a result, you will be able to increase the intensity by having the hands closer towards the ground. When you train with the hardest variation possible, you will maximize muscle growth. Here's another tip that I want you to apply and will help you improve your bicep gains when you're doing Pelican Curl eccentrics. When you set up for the exercise, start with a false grip and then do your best to stay in a false grip until the elbows are extended straight. By using a false grip, you actually shorten the lever arm, putting the biceps in a more mechanically advantageous position. This just enables you to create more tension and more stimulation through the biceps. An alternative to the ring pelican curl eccentric is doing the same exercise on a straight bar. If you have access, I recommend using a Smith machine as it's easy to adjust the intensity based on your level of strength. One thing I want you to keep in mind when you're doing the bar variation is to make sure that when you set up, you place your feet quite far back behind the body. This will put you in the necessary position to maximize tension through the biceps. I often see people making the mistake when they set up on the bar of leaning too far forward and not having the feet further backwards. This makes the exercise too easy and you really won't feel it. The bar version might be a bit uncomfortable for people that have mobility restrictions. So if this happens to you, buy some rings. It will be one of the best pieces of equipment you ever buy and will serve you for a lifetime. In terms of adjusting intensity for this exercise, it's very simple. Because it's a body weight based exercise, the hand placement really dictates how difficult the exercise is. The further your hands are away from the ground, the easier the exercise will be and the closer the hands are towards the ground, the harder the exercise will be. Let's talk about programming for the Pelican Curl Eccentric because it's really important to get the right intensity and dosage to maximize your results. With this one guys, keep it really simple. I like to use an eight second eccentric tempo. This means once you feel tension on the biceps as you begin to lower, by the time the elbows are extended straight, eight seconds should have passed. It's really important to control the entire range of motion with a slow and purposeful speed. Avoid the temptation to lower down quickly, especially at the end of the exercise, as this is when the biceps can be stimulated the most. Don't rob yourself of the best gains by going fast. 
I've found a really good compromise between volume and intensity with the Pelican Curl Eccentric is to do three sets of three to five reps using an eight second Eccentric, resting one minute between sets. I know on paper this doesn't sound that challenging, however three by three equals 72 seconds time under tension and three by five equals 120 seconds time under tension. As this exercise is focusing on the eccentric contraction, the muscle contracting as it's lengthening, it will leave your biceps quite sore and will be really potent for building strength through the entire elbow flexion and extension range of motion. I urge you to include the pelican curl eccentric at the end of your pulling workout if your goal is increasing arm size and strength. Let's be honest, who doesn't want bigger arms? Let's be honest, who doesn't want stronger arms? The pelican curl eccentric is an absolutely great functional, quote unquote functional movement for your biceps, especially if you're doing bodyweight fitness and you're doing a lot of straight arm strength stuff. Cheers everyone for watching. You can show your support by dropping a thumbs up below on this video. And if you're looking for a complete guide using gymnastics rings to build muscle, I encourage you guys to check out fitnessfaqs.tv. I've got guides there completely covering it for you, taking all the guesswork out of it. You'll learn exercise progressions, program design, more, 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 and it'll really change the way you think and approach your bodyweight fitness. Thanks so much, guys. Keep training hard, keep pushing the limits, set those goals, push your barriers, and I'll check in with you very, very soon.